uh, me again. Um, the reason I'm all crouched down like this, trying to fit onto your, your uh, screen, is because I have a crappy tripod for my video camera, and that's what it's sitting on right now. It's only like that big. It's pretty bad. But uh, we'll make with what do right here right now. Um, as you saw in the last video, got little wolf spider here. Big, well not so little. Big girl, one and a half inches. Uh, leg span wise. And I said we we're gonna make an enclosure, so let's get right to it. You don't really demand much. Just a small little plastic container like this rubber made right here. And hold up. Let's see. Cause I'm sure you really care about the detail on the uh, box. But um just use a plastic container. Critter keeper works fine. If you wanna give it more space, go ahead, be my guess. More pampering, I'm just doing this, this is convenient for me. Uh uh, that would need some substrate. Here we got some uh, a pile bar from PetSmart, all living things. It was the cheapest one. You can probably also use Eco Earth as well. I'm not sure if it'll have a bad effect on the spider. I really doubt it will. The only thing I'm concerned about is the mold problem. So I'll keep you guys up to date. If something happens with the substrate, I will let you know. But yeah, I'll use that. Uh, of course, you need water, so we're going to use this little bottle cap right here. So it looks like I'm pretending the whole one. There's really one there in my hand. Small little bottle cap. It'll be used for the water dish, and we are going to cut up this into a small little hide because spiders are generally secretive critters, and they'll feel much more comfortable. They have a really dark place to hide because light will be coming in there. Well, spiders are nocturnal. Okay, so, step one, open bag. It's very original, I know. Okay, uh, crack some still. Matter. In there. Doesn't really matter, they're not. Some species like to burrow. I do not believe this is one of those species, I think they live further out west from where I am, which is my secret lair located off the Florida coast. Just kidding. Um, yep, I don't need that that much. That should be fine. Simply place bottle cap in. We'll fill that up with water near the end after I put her and I get the enclosure situated. Okay, now we need to fill up that tube. There's the tube. And uh, my skittles, skitters. Alright, we only need... It's not that. It doesn't need to be that big. Slightly longer than she is, so she can fit her entire body comfortably underneath. Aha! See? Saves you a bunch of money instead of having to buy one of those fancy pants hash logs that are like $8. That's just a guess for like the smallest size. It's, pro uh, it's probably only like 5 terrible at guessing prices. Put that in. And so we have an enclosure. I'll show you what it looks like from above so you can get a view on the inside. There's the enclosure from the top. You can see Got plenty of room to crawl. Not very demanding, but this should be perfect for her. And now we will introduce her. There she is. Alright. See if I can do this with one hand. Hold the camera with the other. He's trying to get out. If your spider gets out, squish it with the shoe. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, pretty much just place a cup over it and then slide it. 
just a regular size cup, then slide index card underneath the bottom, and the spider should be fine. Uh, okay. I let it come down. Just trying to get out. No, stop it. Down. Let's not get it, shall we? Alright. Let's see. She's in the flesh. No barrier. That's her now. Oh, shoot. Okay, come on, girl. Sit, crawl down. Jeez, you look good in your new home. Yeah, you do. Checking out the dish. Yeah, it looks really nice. Now time to set up her location and just fill in some water. And that's pretty much all there is to making a wolf spider enclosure. There she goes, she's hiding already. That is so cool. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped at least someone. Because I know wolf spiders are pretty popular. Even with like little kids because they're so big, people want to try people like to try keeping them. Even the hardcore racking enthusiasts like collecting them. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, uh, one more thing before I go. I forgot to mention, of course, the all important ventilation. Do not forget to punch holes in the lid. Okay. Nice. As you can see, I just made it look nice. It doesn't really matter. The spider doesn't care, and I'm sure you don't spend all your days looking at the tops of your critters' containers. But uh, yeah, just thought that would be important to get out there. Don't forget the ventilation. Air is an important necessity to any animal, as I'm sure you know. Um, but just a lot of should throw that in there before you think I was going to put it in that box and like suffocate it. Even though they don't use that much oxygen, ventilation is still nice to have. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.